And I know you have millions of things in your closet, but nothing to wear. So raise your hand if that's how you feel every day. I feel your pain. Well, there's a solution to save your sanity. Monica Nielsen, organizer extraordinaire, joins us today to help declutter your life and support a few worthy causes along the way. Monica, I'm so happy to have you here on the show. As I just told you before we started our interview, my closet is embarrassingly, <laughs> it's like its like overflowing and just, oh my goodness, I'm embarrassed. So I was gonna come to you from my closet, but not even gonna go there today. Okay. So. <laughs> well, I'll be right over. Thank you. And that's yeah. what I was gonna say. You've helped so many people, hundreds of people turn their closets from chaos to calm. Yes. It's it's a bit of a superpower. So here's the deal. You wear 23% of your wardrobe, right? And that was pre-COVID numbers. So who knows what it is even now? There's chaos either in your space where things are too much. There's chaos either in your wardrobe with, with not being able to clarify or capsulate, integrate things together. And I can basically fix it all. You're going to get ready in 10 minutes. You're going to walk out the door. You're going to feel beautiful or you're going to show up, as we all do now, feeling just really beautiful and confident and without the chaos. That's crazy that you, those those numbers are insane because now that I think about it, I probably wear the same leggings on rotation. You know, I'm just yes. like wearing this. And you're right, during COVID, it's, it's even more. So, okay, do you have like one big secret to cleansing a closet? Oh, absolutely. So I'm a first generation purger. I absolutely get why we hold on to the things that we hold on to. Um, and it's a very emotional and very vulnerable space. So what my my biggest thing that I help people walk through is sort of just emotionally detaching mm -hmm. from the unmet expectations and, you know, the places like the closet is a place where, you know, dreams go to die. So <laughs> we're going to pull apart why and then I'm going to usher you into a, a giving opportunity. So your best things or used to be your best things, you now get to be somebody else's best things. I like that. That's a really great way to approach it too and to kind of get yourself in the mindset of, hey, you know, I don't need this. Someone else might. So I want to look at some of these before and after pictures. You have some mm -hmm. amazing ones. You give Thank people you. mental clarity too, which is so huge, but you also help them hunt for the perfect pieces to add to their wardrobe too. Talk about that. Right. So I'm really big on shopping with intention um, to, to shop willy nilly. You're going to get sucked into a sale. I, I mean, hello, everybody's going to get sucked into a sale. You're going to justify why you need it and it's going to come back and it's going to sit in your closet. And then I'm going to have to help you cleanse it in a couple of years. So when you shop with intention, it's because you've done all the hard work you've cleansed. We've clarified your style, your personality, your lifestyle. And then we get to go and shop for the pieces that you need in order to create the space where you can show up today. Mm. I just made a huge mental note of that because I do not do that. I just shop, like you yeah. said, willy nilly. I just buy <laughs> things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Oh my gosh. Well, you mentioned it for a second beforehand. The best part of purging is making sure that, you know, others benefit from the process too. So tell us a little bit more about that process that you walk us through. What happens when you clear out people's closet? Oh, it's, it's honestly one of my top five favorite things. So the things that you literally have not worn can benefit others right now, immediately in our community. So I work with dress for success mm -hmm. uh, for a certain level of clothing to help women and get a new start. I also work with Assistance League of Denver is my all time favorite place where they have a thrift store that they turn around and can sell, which funds three other nonprofits that they work in. Wow. So basically it's you're doing good, you're looking good, but everybody wins. These are the things that can get in the hands of other people today. You're never going to give me anything that's going to end up, you know, sitting on the corner getting rained on by a bin. Mm. And, and it makes all the difference in the world. Monica, I love that you do that. I think that makes it so special. And like you said, it puts it in, it puts us into that right mindset of being like, okay, this is not something that I need to hold on to anymore because it could benefit somebody else in the future. I think that's so huge. For sure. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. You. On yes, and helping us clean our closet. I'm going to be calling Ooh, you next time. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm here. Thanks, Monica. Thanks, thanks for having me. Bye-bye. A clean closet equals a peaceful mind. Monica Nielsen, your style rehabist. Thanks so much for your time and tips. Great information. Connect with her and schedule your transformation by heading to her Instagram at Monica Nielsen YSR.